Yeah, it's wrong. We're just noticing some really strange lights. The sky. This happened two times tonight so far. Really odd. And we lost it. To your right. <laughs> Look at that. No. Once again, we're noticing some really odd lights. Over toward the, What's, uh, look at the south. What's it called? It's now they're like starting it's to a little after ten o'clock. The first sighting we had, the lights starting to fade out. began to fade. Is that wild or what? What is that? Oh, there's another one again, yeah. What? I no. just see two, there's two. Damn, you just stop having those blinkers oh on. Look at, they're slowly going down. Oh my god, you guys. Would you turn those blinkers off? Turn the blinker off, Danny. Jeez. Turn the blinker off, Danny, on that thing. Yeah. And now they're going to the left. All right, we just witnessed our second unusual sighting of the night. The lights appeared the, for the second time over toward the south skies. In the, uh, in the nighttime skies of the Arizona desert. Second time tonight. And we're standing by. They called me out of the tent. Woke me up and said, here they, their lights are here again. And so I came out, and I'm standing right here. And I said, tomorrow morning when I get up, I'm going to remember where I was standing. And it was right between, they were right between that last cactus there and that first outcropping. And they were just hovering, just barely, you know, um, well, actually above those mountain ranges, but you can't see, you couldn't see that then. So it looked like it was quite high in the sky. Maybe like, uh, you know, 11 o'clock, something like that. Maybe, maybe a little lower, maybe 10 o'clock. But anyway, they were, they were just hovering, and then all of a sudden they started flickering blink. And when they started flickering blink, then they disappeared. And that was it. You you saw them three times, and I only saw them once, but that was pretty scary. Look, look, at, look at that ant, it's how it's carrying that huge cheetah. He's trying to move it. Isn't that something? He is moving it. He's going to be the hero of his little anthill. 